What I'm about to show you might be the most wild and most impressive use case for AI that I've seen since the release of ChatGPT. I'm gonna have a real-time conversation inside of Zoom with my own AI avatar. Let me invite the avatar. Hi, my name is Saj. I can help you learn how to use AI for your business. Hey, can you tell me one good use case for ChatGPT for my business? Hey there, I'm so glad you reached out. ChatGPT can be a fantastic asset for your business in several ways. One great use case is using it for content creation, especially if you're in a field that requires regular updates like marketing or social media. For example, you could use okay, ChatGPT let me, let me to a blog post. Sorry to interrupt. Can you tell me a very specific use case when it comes to content creation, like a prompting technique maybe? No worries at all. Great question. When it comes to content creation with ChatGPT, using effective prompting techniques can make a big difference. One specific use case is creating a blog post outline. For instance, if you want to write a blog post about the benefits of using AI in small businesses, you can use a prompt like this. Can you help me create an outline for a blog post titled The Benefits of Using AI in Small Businesses? I'd like to include sections on efficiency, cost okay, savings. Okay, do you know what other AI service. tools do you like? Name like two other AI tools you like besides ChatGPT. Absolutely. There are some really cool AI tools out there that complement ChatGPT well. Here are two that I really like when Canva with MagicWrite. Canva is an amazing graphic design tool, and with its MagicWrite feature, you can generate text for your designs. It's super handy for creating social media posts, presentations, or marketing materials. You can simply input a prompt, and it will help you craft catchy headlines or descriptions. To Jasper AI, Jasper is another popular content generation tool that specializes in marketing copy. Okay, that's it's great good. for creating uh, ad copy. Can you tell me about Midjourney really quick? Like, talk as fast as you can. Sure thing. Midjourney is an AI tool specifically for generating stunning images based on text prompts. You describe what you want to see, like a futuristic cityscape at sunset, and it creates unique artwork for you. Okay, how crazy was that and that is an extremely early beta version of this tool that i'm about to show you and you could use it with all kinds of different avatars maybe something was wrong with the way i trained the avatar i think i did too much head bopping when i was recording my training video but i'll show you exactly how this works you could use it inside of zoom you could also embed this on your own website too, this instant ai avatar it could be your clone it could be a ton of other faces and it could be embedded as this kind of chatbot, you could give it your own instructions too. I'm gonna to show you all that in this video. Now, this is from a company called HeyGen. I've covered them in different videos. This is not a sponsored video for HeyGen though, but they have something called interactive avatars. Again, in very early beta. So if you're not familiar with HeyGen, they create AI avatars that look very human-like, very realistic with AI-generated voices. But you could also clone yourself. They have something called instant avatars and I've covered that in different videos. These are called interactive avatars. So they interact with you in uh, what I showed you in that Zoom call. So right there, I send it to Zoom and I started a new meeting with Zoom. It also lets you integrate this by copying this little bit of code and adding it to your website, which I'll show you. And you could just use it on this website. So this is at the HeyGen website. So let me show you how I got here. So on the left side of HeyGen, you could go ahead to the Labs tab right here and they have very early beta versions of some things they're testing out. So that's where I found these interactive avatars. Now, the interactive avatars, if you go to the template avatars, you could see some default ones you could chat with. I'll show you a couple of examples of that. And you could go ahead and choose from your own. So I said, select avatar. This is the one they selected for me, or you could just pay to create yourself an interactive avatar. Again, I pay totally separately to create that instant avatar. This is a whole different thing. You train it a little bit a different way to than the instant avatar, if you've seen my video on instant avatars. But here, this is all you have to do to start a chat. First on this dropdown, you could choose the system instructions for this avatar. How is this avatar going to behave? I created one called AI Tutor with my own instructions, but they have like a business coach here, language learning partner, but you could also press new. And these are the things you could put here. You could give it a name. You could have an opening intro. This is a sentence if you wanted to say something every time it starts. Any useful links for its knowledge base, you could literally give it links. Right now you can't upload files to it. And system prompting, again, I've covered it in a bunch of my videos before, but here's where you give it a system prompt telling the AI how to behave. So just to show you an example, I'll go ahead and edit the one I give a system prompt to. 
So act as a human avatar AI tutor, guiding people on how to use AI in practical applications. Then you could kind of give it step-by-step -step output format. You could give it an example of when a user says this, you want this kind of output, you could give it any type of additional notes. And they also have this option right here, rewrite with guidance. So you could give it a persona, you could give it any specific knowledge here. Again, not with PDFs and things like that. You have to pay some text. And again, your set of instructions. I'll put in the description a video that I made previously all about setting these type of instructions if you need a little bit more help with those as well. Let me go ahead and select another avatar and show you some other ones because they have some good ones. And you could actually use these as your interactive avatar instead of cloning yourself. You don't have to clone yourself. They have a bunch of them available. This uses the OpenAI real-time engine right here to run these. So let's see which one we want to test out. Let's try this one. Now, this time I'm going to just start a new chat. Let's make this one a business coach this time. That's going to change the instructions so it will behave differently. Start a new chat. Hi, Sophia. Can you tell me what you could help me with? Absolutely. I can assist you with analyzing your business's current situation, setting clear goals, developing strategies, and creating action plans, whether it's tackling challenges or tracking progress. What specific area of your business would you like to focus on? I'm specifically trying to figure out how to run Facebook ads effectively. Can you help with that? Certainly. First, define your target audience in detail. Then, create compelling ad content with strong visuals and clear messaging. Set a budget and use A-B testing to see what works best. Okay, what's, Continuously what's the one? Can you just tell me the very first thing I need to do before I run Facebook ads is finding a target audience, the, the first thing? Yes, exactly. Identifying your target audience is crucial. Understand who your ideal customers are including their demographics, interests, and online behavior. Hey, this will help you tailor your... Can you actually talk twice as fast? I can try to speed up a bit, but I'll keep it clear to make sure you get all the information. Okay, so it looks like this version of it that they trained worked a lot better than the version I trained. So the training might have been an issue. I think this one worked way more smoothly than my clone, but you could actually share it directly from here. But I want to show you how to actually integrate this to your own website because you could copy this directly with a simple HTML code and just copy this link right here and add it to your website. They also have this API integration. If you're kind of building an app using this, you could integrate with their API. Okay, I have a simple WordPress website that I'm building out here. And on the left side here, I got my little AI avatar. So if someone clicks on it, it's going to open it up. You can put it anywhere on your site and then choose a language, so English, and then start a new chat. Can you tell me the best way to add a system prompt for my custom chatbot? Absolutely, I'd love to help you set up a system prompt for your custom chatbot. A system prompt is essentially the initial instruction you give to ChatGPT to guide its behavior. Okay, so you get the idea over here. Let's go back to HeyGen. And inside of HeyGen here, what I want to do is this time I want to add this AI avatar. I think it does a little bit of a better job. It's set to be a business coach. Again, I could create any of these myself. And I just have to integrate this to my website using this code. I just have to copy this code. Now, if you don't have a website or if you're not happy with your current setup, I partnered with a company called Hostinger for this video, and they actually let you create a website using WordPress in just a couple of clicks. And they have a really powerful AI powered website builder too that I'll show you very quickly here. I'll put a link in the description to this page right here where you could go ahead and set up a plan for yourself. This is the plan I chose for my website hosting and you could have up to 100 different websites on this hosting plan. So I just chose this plan over here. Now by default, that page has a pretty good discount applied to it, but they gave me an additional coupon code here that applies another 10%. So if you wanna go this route, this is how you would apply that coupon code and go through the checkout process. And this is for four years of hosting and you could actually set up up to 100 different websites with this hosting plan. And inside the dashboard, if you add a new website, you could actually create a WordPress website and you could also use the Hostlinger website builder. This is a really nice AI powered drag and drop builder. I'll show you this one. The WordPress one is what I was using in the other page, very straightforward there. And it's really simple. This one, you just give it a brand name, add a description up to 700 characters. You could give it your own color palette here with the personalization, create a website with this link, 
And in five, 10 seconds, here's the website that I got. And everything is super easy to edit. You just literally type in what you want, change each section. You could see you have an AI writer too with each section. So you could type in a different text description and generate new text just using that option. And pretty much every text block has that option built in. All the text styling options are all available. Anytime you wanna change any of these images, if you just click on it, you could go ahead and generate images using a text prompt over here, all kinds of different styles available. And if you don't wanna use AI, you could also obviously use your own images here. They also have free images, royalty free images that you could just go ahead and add from this page. You could just search for anything you want up here. And on the left panel too, they have this whole tab for all kinds of different things you could do with AI. AI blog generator, AI heat map, AI SEO, AI logo maker, all these are part of your plan here with Hostinger. Now I'll use another Hostinger website that I'm building right now. This one, I used a WordPress version. So when you first pick one, you could choose WordPress or you could choose the AI powered Hostinger website builder. And on the left panel on both, they have this code section, you add that. This is gonna be our HTML code. And we're gonna paste that block of text right over here. That's all we need to do. I'm gonna save this page. And this is something that comes directly from that embed code from HeyGen. So if I press chat now, same as before, choose my language, start my chat. Hey there, can you help me uh, grow my website building business? Absolutely. I'd love to help with that. Using HeyGen's interactive avatars, you can create engaging and dynamic experiences for your clients' websites, making them stand out. Now, as you can see, this could be extremely powerful. An AI avatar or your own AI clone with your own instructions on your own website inside of Zoom calls for you. That is just wild. Now, some of the issues still have to be worked out. I think the latency is very close to real time, but not quite. It needs to be much more real time. The AI avatars are getting better and better. The interruption is still has issues, but a lot of the different, even the voice AIs still have issues, but this is just incredible where this could go in a year or two. So I'm really excited for you to test this out. All the links are in the description below. Thanks again for hosting here, for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you next time.